captured was protected. The video went viral on social media and of course attracted many comments about driving the Chevy to the levee, which in this case was not dry. Let's get to some of your feedback now. A lot of it's still coming in regarding the cones. Uh, this is not said wrong cones are actually dark. The only way to get rid of them is to call Dr. Who. On the price of them, some of them are price check, price check, fluorescent orange, which is hot. It seems that road cones of the size usually used by Waka Kotahi are for sale at prices between $35 and $48, says Blanche, who says, forget Auckland, why can I cut the coast? has been road cone paradise for more than a year. Um, and another person says road cones are being overused all over New Zealand as a travelling entertainer with our grandson. We recently estimated 780 road cones between Auckland and Wellington. Most were not associated with active work. Um, on the ferry situation and cancellation, this person says, my ferry tickets changed, no problem at all. 30 minutes on hold and a lovely fella fixed it with no drama. Those poor staff are doing amazingly to keep their composure and humour in the circumstances. But it is a mixed bag in terms of the theory. Tom's got in touch to say, had to cut our holiday short by two days to get ourselves and a vehicle back across the Cook Strait. Our friend's car is stuck in Picton until April when they were cancelled. On the subject of the prize pool on the ultra marathon, this person says women and men's ultra marathon prize money is ultra sexist. There is a big difference between the two sexes. News at six o'clock. Good evening. I'm with you at the Ashton. Immigration New Zealand is looking into whether anti-transgender activist Kelly J. King Mitchell will be allowed into New Zealand after neo-Nazis attended one of her events in Australia. Supporters of Ms. King Mitchell gave Nazi salutes and abused LGBT counter-protesters at an event in Melbourne at the weekend. The Prime Minister, Chris Hipkins says he doesn't want to comment on the immigration process, but says people using the right to free speech shouldn't be using it to incite violence or hateful behaviour. I condemn people who use their rights to free speech to do that in a way that um, seeks to deliberately create division. Um, it's not something that I um, would attend or would engage with, um, and I don't think it's helpful overall to social cohesion or to actually rational and constructive debate. Chris Hipkins says he hasn't looked at following the state of Victoria and banning the Nazi salute. Meanwhile, Mr Hipkins is describing the new police minister as a safe pair of hands. Jenny Anderson was only sworn in as a cabinet minister last month, but now Stuart Nash, who resigned last 